Good evening and welcome to Just Event Online News at 9. I am an Ifat Ismail. The news headlines. Federal government to sanction hospitals rejecting emergency patients. Representative six six years tenure for president rotation among zones. Nigerian government develops resurgence plan for textile apparel industry. States work on total electricity subsidy removal new tariff. Quara Sepo Technics holds first international conference on continuing education. Pilgrims to begin return journey to Nigeria June 22. MBT introduces mandatory skills qualification for polytechnic graduates. Northern Elders call for National Patriarchalist Commission. Court dismisses suit seeking to declare 25 reverse assembly seats vacant. And on sport, Flamingo slash Liberia for one enforced leg tie. Now the news in details. The federal government has threatened to go after the management of any hospital that refused to attend to patients rushed into their facilities in an emergency. The Minister of Women Affairs, Uju Kennedy, gave a warning at the Unlock Grant Award Ceremony in Abuja. The minister also revealed that a mobile court has been set up to start adjudicating on such cases. A group of lawmakers in the House of Representatives are seeking alterations to the 1999 Constitution to pave way for the rotation of the presidency among the six geopolitical zones of the country. They also want an amendment to the Constitution to provide for a single tenure of six years for the president and governors of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The federal government is developing a resurgence plan for the cutting, textile and apparel industry in Nigeria in collaboration with development partners and the private sector. Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Doris Uzoka Aniti, disclosed this while reviewing the activities of the ministry in the last one year adding that about $3.5 billion investment was secured within the period to rejuvenate the moribund sector. State governments are getting set to eliminate electricity subsidies in their territories, as more states deal up to join others in running their different power markets under their own laws. In a document put together by the Nigeria Governors Forum, titled... Development of the National Integrated Electricity Policy and Strategic Implementation Plan Policy Recommendations by State Government to the Federal Ministry of Power. The state also stated that they will implement different electricity tariffs in their domains. The Choir Staple Technic Center for Continuing Education held its maiden international conference, themed Continue Education a catalyst for intellectual and material development in the 21st century. The event featured a keynote address by Professor Mahfouz Adedimeji, former Vice-Chancellor of Amman Partigi University, ably represented by Professor Ele Aziz, emphasizing the importance of continued education in the 21st century. By technology advancement. Therefore, continuing education has become increasingly crucial for intellectual growth and professional development. In this field note address, 
what are the hacks to come and do it here today is to highlight the significance of continuing education within the context of the 21st century. Thereby, I will shed a light on, the, on its impact on both intellectual and material progress of not only the individuals in our society today, but the society at large. Director, Engineer Dr. Abdul Mohammed Jimo appreciated the guest while encouraging the student to utilize the opportunity given them. The field is superior to the regular problems. But with this occasion and some other activities of Center of Social Education in the past, let me say the uh, last three years, we were able to feel that as a part time student, there is no inferiority between you and the regular uh, students. The CE director, Dr. Kolab Vaita, also highlighted the conference goals as he commended the rector's support. I also find that apart from our academic staff, who are primarily target, the part-time academic staff of this great institution cannot leverage on it to prepare and write scholarly papers for the conferences. This conference, however, will be of great benefit to all and sundry. I cannot but express my immense thanks to the management of the Polytechnic for giving us the express approval to hold this kind of academic conference. We at the center, all together, we at the center, once again, we are indeed very grateful. We have soaked that, that, uh, that could to me for, I think, for like four, five, three, four years ago. Uh, you know, naturally, before the students of part time do spend three years of their program, that's for their ND program, before they can get the ND certificate. But since I came in as the director, I saw the idea of the school management and the keen into it. They changed the, set the semester to three semesters uh, per year, and uh, now we are running three semesters per year, meaning the whole section of their program will be two sections, meaning two years, like those of that of. Uh, uh, Full time. There's no dichotomy between the two. They are having the same results, they are having the same uh, lecture are taking them. The final quality of today is that they should continue the way they are doing now. Then, when we came in, you can't organize something of this nature. Before you hear it, you start hearing people, blah, blah. you know, people start shooting here and there. For more than three, four years, since the session of Abu Jima Muhammad government, I can tell you there's nothing like that in the protecting again. While speaking, the Commissioner for Tarship Education, Dr. Mrs. Mary Aride, acknowledged the Protectionist contribution to the state's development. Continuing education is one of the most important fields of any level and work. It is essential to the improvement of the quality of life for all individuals. It is Presented by Honorable Baba, the speaker, Kara State as of Assembly, Honorable Yakubu Salu Danladi, assured the institution of the Assembly's full support to enhance its productivity. It's in for the economy, 
the way we want to talk of computerization. And that's why we see this as essence and is important in our lifelong education process. On that note, by the permission of the right of the speaker, the House of Assembly in Paris States starting to go in partnership to ensure we have a dynamic education process. And we are showing the management and the director that in whichever way they think the house can come in to ensure we embrace the reality of rights, we are giving our hundred percent. The conference was a resounding success, fostering intellectual discourse and charting a path for continued education in the 21st century. The chairman and chief executive officer of the National Arts Commission of Nigeria, Malam Jalal Ahmad Arabi, has said Nigerian programs will start returning to their country as from June 22. Arabi said 120 flights took almost all programs to the Holy Land in Saudi Arabia. The Nakom boards who expressed optimism about the success of this year's Hajj said no program will be left behind before the deadline. The National Board for Technical Education has introduced the mandatory skills qualification as a graduation requirement for all newly revived, reviewed national diploma and higher national diploma curricula. The board said it introduced MSQ in line with global trends, noting that skill acquisition is now central to the training of young Nigerians in polytechnics. That Professor Ango Abdullah led Northern Elders Forum as demanded the immediate setting up of a national pastoralist commission as obtained in the South-South geopolitical zone to act on all matters affecting the well-being and interest of our citizens whose livelihoods depend on livestock rearing. The demand was sequel to the proposed controversial National Animal Husbandry and Ranches Commission before the Senate. The bill, if enacted, will prohibit open grazing nationwide in a bid to resolve long-standing conflict between others and farmers. A River State High Court sitting in Port Harcourt has dismissed the suit seeking to vacant the seats of the 25 lawmakers who defected from the Pure Democratic Party to the All Progressives Congress. The judgment presided over by Justice Okogbule Gbassam held that the lawmakers as two members of the People's Democratic Party after the claimant failed to provide proof as required by law that the defendants are members of the uh, Progressive Congress. The last on the news is Port. The Nigerian under-17 women's national football team, the Flamingos, secured a comfortable 4-1 victory against Liberia in the first leg of the final qualifying round for the 2024 FIFA on the 17 Women's World Cup. The match took place on Sunday evening at the Samuel Kanyodo Stadium. The Flamingos, under the leadership of coach Bankale Olowokere, dominated the game from the outset. And that will be all on Just Event Online News at 9. Here's the recap of the story. Federal government to sanction hospitals rejecting emergency patients. Representatives seek six-year tenure for president. Rotation among zones. Nigerian government develops resurgence plan for textile. 
apparel industry. States work on total electricity subsidy remover, new tariff. Cora State Protechnics holds first international conference on continuing education. Pilgrims to begin return journey to Nigeria, June 22. MBT introduces mandatory skills qualification for polytechnic graduates. Northern elders call for National Pastoralist Commission. Cause dismisses suit seeking to declare 25 reverse assembly seats vacant and on spot. Flamingo Strash Liberia for one in first leg tie. Thank you for watching Just Event Online News. In every trying moment, always find the ability to keep the situation under control with good strength. For more news, visit www.justeventonline.com and to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with a tab at Just Event Online. You can also send us an email on justeventonline at gmail.com. I am an infant, it's my Good night.